Yo, what's going on guys, DJS here. Got a hodgepodge of random pickups uh, today for you guys, and none of these are actually sneakers. So, uh, throwing the disclaimer out there early, um, there are no sneakers in this video. There's some sneaker-inspired stuff, and as, as you can see, there's a pair of kicks, but they're not sneakers. Um, as for on feet, today I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> a typical day. I don't wear kicks in my house usually, so there's that. But um, anyway, so just a random bunch of uh, pickups. If you guys don't want to watch this because there's no sneakers, um, no harm, no foul. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and get into it. So first thing here is a, a Mountain Hardware jacket. And if you don't know what Mountain Hardware is, it's like an outdoors sort of company. Really, really fresh jacket though. Man, normally this jacket is $270. And, uh, and here's the, uh, the tag on it. The Isomer uh, jacket is what it's called. Got it from the employee store of Columbia and it was $137. But then I got a friends and family discount on it and it was 10% off of that. So it was like $124. For this jacket, it comes with this hood right here. Pretty nice. Everything's kind of—I um, don't even know how to describe the materials. It's like all pressed together and stuff, or it's like seamless. And uh, so, it's just—it's just really, really high quality jacket. Um, you can see the zipper is seamless right here, so you can—you can't like see the actual zipper underneath it. It's kind of the—I uh, don't know—I don't even know what the hell they call it. It's fancy. It's fancy. Let's just leave it at that. Um, uh, Anyway, the colors on it is, is kind of a gray, black, and orange. But the orange is a little bit like more orange than what I'm used to, but still. So it doesn't match like my orange like shoes and stuff like that, which is a bummer. But regardless, it is pretty... Is this a dead flower on the ground, really? A little dead flower part on the ground. My wife never takes care of the flowers. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had some friends that came over and dropped off some flowers. But uh, you guys don't care about that. <laughs> Adult stuff, I'm telling you. Anyway, so... Jacket is fresh. I like this jacket a lot. Uh, good price, $124 uh, for normally like a $270 jacket. Um, moving on, Gears of War Judgment uh, was a must for me. I'm a huge Gears of War fan and uh, beat the campaign already and all that stuff. Play multiplayer um, here and there on both my other channels. I have Gears of War. Um, anyway, shoes. Non-sneakers, but these are uh, fun shoes in my, my opinion. I like the kind of worn look that they have on, on these. These um, are from a brand called Sorel, and uh, this is another company that uh, is owned by Columbia Sportswear. And so I went to the Columbia Employee Store and got got this in the jacket and stuff at the same time. But really nice sneaker, or not sneakers, real nice shoes for uh, weddings, DJing weddings and stuff like that. So you can see the bottoms right here, pretty fancy. And the leather quality on this is just nuts. I mean, it's just really, really smooth and soft. And uh, I don't know, the shoes are just nice, really nice. Price on them is even nicer though, because the price was only seventy-two dollars, and then on top of that, I got a discount, so it was like sixty-five bucks, and I got uh, those shoes right here for for weddings and stuff. So in the summertime, I DJ a lot of weddings, so uh, they'll be perfect. Moving on, the last thing I got from the employee store, and I'm gonna do a different video on these, I think. Um, it's Montreal. I don't know how to say the name, but it's Endura Soles, and it's like an insole for your shoes that you heat and mold, and uh, that's pretty much it. You just heat it. Like it shows you right here, put it in the oven, mold it to your foot, and wear them. I don't know. They, they look pretty crazy. But this is like what the insole looks like, and uh, you can see that it looks like a foot. And then there's a huge, like, hard pad thing, or, like, thing right here. It's like plastic, hard plastic for the bottom part. And uh, I don't know, man. I definitely want to try these out because, and, like, the old retro Jordans, like my, my Jordan 4s and stuff, you know, they're not comfortable to me at all. Um... And uh, something like this might be like a perfect arch support for your, your shoes and stuff. So I'll try these out, do a review on them if they work out well. Uh, if you guys want to see that, maybe leave a comment. But kind of cool, 22 bucks uh, with a discount. It was, it was $20 um, for, for myself. But that's still half price, I believe, from normal. So pretty good deal on that. I got an employee store pass to Adidas. And is that KT Parry with blue hair and some other um, homies that we know? Um, Rose and whatnot. Anyway, that's 50% off uh, uh, employee store discount at, at the, uh, I don't even know, village store. I think that's an employee store. But it's pretty uh, pretty nice discount thing. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I'm not an Adidas fan. Um, I'll probably go just to check it out if you guys want to see it. Maybe I'll do a couple of pictures of what they have there. Um, and then this is a, a pricing guide, a Jordan 2013 pricing guide from JSTAR. So major shout out to JSTAR for sending this to me. Uh, real cool dude just for looking out like for that. Like 
I don't know, man. Like I said, J Star is one of those dudes that I, one of the first people I found on YouTube with sneakers, and the dude's just a, a just a nice guy, man. Real humble, just a real like real dude, which is nice. There's no like fake fake stuff going on there. But this pricing guide's kind of crazy. It's just like a price guide of random um, stuff, and uh, you know I'll just show you guys like this one right here, like the Jordan 11 CDPs. It's roughly the market value and then the released retail price. It's nice that they have them on the retail prices and the colors and, and stuff like that. And uh, just the, the number of the shoes that, that, that they have and stuff. And it's numerical one through, I think it has up to 14s in here. Um, which is cool though. It's nice to be, see some of the older releases that you, you know, like this one. You guys might not be familiar with this one. right? Oh, damn it. It's kind of hard to see, but like that one right, right there. Um, it's hard to, hard to work this camera angle right here. Anyway. Pretty cool book though, man. I really appreciate you looking out and send that to me. It's nice to be able to see market values and, and more, more importantly for me, just historical values, just uh, retail, retail values on the kicks. And the last thing right here is uh, the Loot Crate. If you don't know what Loot Crate is, it's this uh, service that you basically pay for. Um, you can pay for every month or just once on particular months, but they have basically just random gear inside of the crate. I did an unboxing on my other channel. If you want, I'll put a link in the description if you want to see. And uh, basically, if you want to sign up for this, check my description and hit the link because I get credit for it if you guys actually sign up. But it's just a bunch of pop culture, like gamer, geek swag. You can see I got a little Vader bobble doll ahead or whatever, which is awesome. Got a loot crate, um, like wristband with the contra code on it. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start. Awesome. Dead Space sticker, uh, Spock pin, and this little weird little bug thing. It's like a hex bug and it's like a little uh robot thing that it's a little vibrator <laughs> don't give that to your your girlfriends <laughs> uh inappropriate all right and then it has a couple of these things right here uh like uh postcards and stuff and it tells you everything that's in the crate right here on the the loot crate page and stuff but it's like 20 bucks for all of this stuff including shipping so but they give you just a random bunch of like hodgepodge of stuff every month and this is all just in this one month so Kind of a fun service, in, in my opinion, and, and fills that like inner geek uh, in yourself. But uh, if you want to see more about that, go check my other channel. Anyway, this is pretty much it. No sneakers, man. I apologize, but I will have uh, some uh, some sneaker-related stuff coming up um, on the channel. I have um, my thoughts on the Elite, uh, the Jor or the Nike, the, not the Jordan, the uh, Nike Elite LeBrons and the Elite Kobe's and Elite KDs and stuff like that. Definitely want to do a video on on my thoughts on that. And uh, I don't know, just some other things I have coming up. So the giveaway as well. If you didn't miss the cork giveaway for the cork sandals, check out that video. And I have another one. As soon as I hit 20,000, man, I have a really, really fun giveaway that I'm excited to, to show you guys. Um, and it's going to be it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's probably the only time I've seen uh, of it. But have a good one, guys. That's pretty much it. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.